Not the new beautiful people. Thank you for joining us once again. And you'd be glad to know we're not doing a bathroom today. We've got a lot of radiators to fit. So before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, follow us over on Instagram and TikTok. Let's get into it. Right, so got all the radiators today. We've got six radiators in the fit, we've got three downstairs and three upstairs. Hopefully we can get through the day, fingers crossed. Um, we've also got a little toilet pair to look at, but when we get to them today, I don't know. The priority is the radiators. I'll just show you around what we've got to do. We've got these big 750 radiators going all downstairs. We've got a 1400 going there, 1400 going there, and a 1600 going there. These radiators are well oversized, but it's what the customer asked for. Um, they're wanting to eventually move to a heat pump. Still nothing big enough, but I think going to triple in a hallway is not practical. So we just got as big as we can. We didn't want the triple radiators. So, show you upstairs. That radiator is staying. Um, they're having the bathroom refurbished at some point. Hopefully, not by me. And then we've got a radiator going here. That's just, there's only 600 highs up here because 750s wouldn't fit. We've then got another radiator going there. So we've got two 1400s for that bedroom and that bedroom. And then we've got a metre, I think, or 600. I can't remember exactly how big it is. That plug socket wasn't there before. So I'm hoping I can still get it centre. Otherwise, another one unhappy customer. Um, upstairs, however, I'm sure it's easy to show you in this bedroom. It's all plastic upstairs. We've even connected up to the radiators before with plastic, so we're cutting that back and doing that in 15 more copper. We're not repiping the system, we're just connecting onto the old, so as always, copper through the floor. Never connected up to radiators with plastic. It's a bit shocking, in my opinion. So we're gonna start downstairs. Um, priority is this radiator, because there's some damp specialists going today to do something with the floor. So we get that radiator on this morning. And then we'll move to the other two radiators. Right, so I'll just show you how I make the make the radiator market get it come on the wall basically. So the 1400 that's going on the living room wall here. And what I'm doing doing is going centre between the two plug sockets, um, which come to one nine one or nine and a half, which is marked there. And then the centre between the brackets, we go across 60 that way, 60 that way, so we've got 1200. And then we're going off the top of the skirting. Two foot up, basically. And we're leveling across, line that across. And then we're using our Sigmund, the Coke can model. Let's call it the Coke can model. I will put the link in the description. Um, you've probably seen this in a few of my videos before. Does it say the model number on it? It doesn't, I can't remember what model number is. But I'll put a link in the description below. Really good, two lines, horizontal, and it's really bright. See, it's a sunny day in here, and I can still see that clear as day. So what we do, when I've got Two hands, line that up to my laser, like so, something like that. Mark that up and get that drilled. So we'll crack on and get that done. Back to the home for apprentices. These little white caps with all the radio brackets. What is the purpose of them? You know the answer? Put it in the comments below. Right, that's all in place now. Nice so let's turn that off, save the battery. So we'll get the rad made up. We're using the EPH EMTRV 15s, which is a box shield pack. So we're gonna be making these up with Loctite and Jet Loop. People gonna ask, do I not use black and blue anymore? But I still do. Um, I just don't got enough of it. We need quite a lot, to be honest. So, get these made up and move on to the next radio. Five, six, 
eight. Use eight wraps on there. Mm. On the back of the Loctite, it does tell you on there what size thread and how many wraps you should be using. So for half inch, six to eight wraps. To be honest, it's okay like that, but just to cover myself and have a bit of a, if there is any deficiencies in the thread or anything like that, this gently is gonna stop it from leaking. All being well. Really need to get into this. And just screw that in there. Using the Wary Joker, 16mm works perfect with these EPH valve. Sometimes some valves need 17mm, but I seem to get away with 16 on most, most valves, to be honest. With Loctite, you don't have to, you don't have to swing off it. You can, you'll just have to nip it up nicely, so it's nice and tight. You don't have to like the PTFE, you be breaking your back trying to get it in sometimes. That's why I like the Loctite stuff a lot better. It's a lot easier to work with as well. So we've got the other one made up. Drill our pipes through, um, and then going under the floor. Once we've got all the radiators done downstairs, and by the set looks of it, it's plastic under the floor as well. Why would, why would they use copper tails coming through the floor downstairs, but then upstairs do plastic tails? If it's the object, unless they've got that copper, maybe. Right, so now the radiator downstairs are on in place, piped through the floor, we've started piping up, we've been under the floor already, so we've piped up the hallway radiator and the living room radiator. The dining room kitchen area radiator um, is still to pipe up under the floor. So we've got to jump down there, just come to get a couple more fit. It is obviously plastic pipe under there, so we just we can just connect it onto the existing. Like I said earlier, not repiping. I know some people don't like plastic, but we're just doing what we've done until we try to start. So I'm using this new LED lenser HF4R work headlamp. They've kind of sent me this out to try, and to be honest, I pretty like it compared to some other head torches on the market. It's really light. Comes with a seven year warranty, it's rechargeable, and it's just a waterproof. So as a plumber, working under the um, under the floor, when could work above my head with water, if water gets on it, it's not gonna get damaged. So that's, that's really good as a plumber. So yeah, highly recommend that. All the technical stuff is on the side. You've got the Illumas there, so it's got maximum of 500, minimum of 20, but your standard setting really is your 300, um, give you 100 meter distance, and 2.5 hours runtime. Yeah, there are all the, Technical stuff that if you're interested, and it also comes with an attachment which you're going to connect connect to. You can well you stick it onto your hard hat. And you can unclip the torch at the front, and you can stick that onto your hard hat basically. So yeah, it's really good, really light. I've had some other torches that are really heavy um, with a bit of pain to be fair, to be fouled off and stuff like that. So what we do is we we'll jump down there, get, get all the bits ready, jump down there, and I'll show you it how bright it is under the floor. Right, so under here now. Don't know how this is looking. It's a bit dusty under here. Um, I hope I'm not bl blinding you too much with the torch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the torch off basically while I'm under here. I don't know how well it's going to work because so I've got flash on on the camera. So I'm going to have to turn it off and, and then show you how well it works. Going into the corner, furthest distance over there. There's loads of rubble down here. It's a bit of a nightmare. So what I'm going to do, turn it, I'll turn it off. So that's with the light off. That's like smallest setting. That's that's 30 lumens, I believe. So I can still see to the wall over there. It's still workable. That's its medium setting. So there I can see everything basically in the room. It's not really portraying well on the video, but I can see everything in the room. And then on its maximum setting, let's just turn that off again. There we go. It's even brighter. You can see right over there, it's probably about four meters away over there. And that's not struggling at all to see. So if you can just see down there a white cap end, take that cap end off there, cut that back. We're running 15 mil plastic all the way around here. And then we've got our two fittings coming down there and there. So we'll cut them back, elbows onto there, and then we'll clip up. Yeah, pointing in the right direction. We'll clip along these joists back down there. That's the last radiator. 
all connected. So yeah, I hope you can see me properly. Um, so we'll get that done. It's a bit hard to film and do stuff down here. Obviously, I'm lying down on my belly. It's a good job I'm slim, isn't it? No, <laughs> not slim at all. Um, but yeah, got the perks of the job having to crawl around under people's floors. It's um, not quite on the job description sometimes. Yeah, it's not for the faint hide. If you're scared of spiders, don't be a plumber. Got me carried away. Just got the job finished. Well, say finished. Got to come back tomorrow. Just to finish a little few little bits off. But. All the radiators upstairs, done. Like you see, we've got just a connect onto the old plastic, use copper with a bend going up there. Then same bend now with an elbow. This side, same bend elbow. That one goes straight to a plastic elbow, which goes across. And then all the way in here, same again, basically. Bend elbow, bend elbow. It's plastic, we're not repiping the full system like I've already said. One of these things, get over it, it works. It's tested, it's absolutely scorched in here. It's red hot. Um, this house could be one hot house with these uh, big radiators in. Shame about that one. But obviously they, they redo in the bathroom at some point. So I'm back tomorrow to replace the siphon. I'm actually gonna be using a Thomas Dudley siphon for a change. Gavin, Pablo, Pablo Pum Plum Gavar has uh, persuaded me to try to use Pum, uh, Thomas Dudley. I got me sent over a few little bits the other day and I went and purchased this. So tomorrow we're going to swap out this fill valve and the siphon. Because not really doing much. Oh, I say it's not really doing much. Been flushing that all day, it won't work. As soon as I start filming, it flushes. But you've got to really pump it for it to do anything. So we will isolate that under there for now overnight so it doesn't overflow. And come back tomorrow, change the full valve, change the siphon. Hopefully, so let me just have a look what the bottle's like. Oh, they're busted. Great. Not to sell, bring them up to multi tool or angle grinder. So, you've already seen downstairs all done and dusted. I probably won't. I don't, I don't well, probably won't show you much tomorrow in regards to the radiators. It's all done, it's all filled up. All I need to do tomorrow is jump down there again. How small it's all is. Two uh, hot and cold, an old lead gas pipe. Yeah. Good, good, good job, I've uh, lost a few, few pounds. So tomorrow I've got to come back, jump down there, put a few clips on, and also I'm going to drop the pressure out of the system and put some inhibitor in. We're going to be putting in the old Burnix Protector F1, best on the market. It's concentrated stuff, so it's only a 265 milliliter bottle, but we'll do up to 12 radiators. And it's only a seven radiator system. So yeah, should do the job. Can you hear that toilet? That's that toilet filling you can hear it downstairs. Guys like that, because it's gonna overflow, I think. Oh, don't lose my jewel bit. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, and you've got some tips and tricks along the way, please do smash the like button. If you've got any questions, do drop it in the comments below. Hope to see you all again sometime, maybe next week. Um, I'm not sure what we've got coming next week for next week's video, but I'm sure we'll be there. So, peace out, love you all.